everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Hope you're all doing well today. Um, today I have a 10 by 20 inch canvas and I'm going to do a waterfall pour on it. Kind of excited about it. I'm using some new colors and some new mica powders. So let's go over my paints. My base coat is just going to be the um, Blick um, Titanium White. I have it in a bottle here. My other colors are Amsterdam Greenish Blue, one of my favorite all-time colors. My next paint is a new paint. Uh, during Black Friday, Arteza was running a special on some of their um, sets, and this one is their pearl set, and I did get the pearl green blue. And let me show you that color, very pretty, and I'll show you consistency right away. A little bit on the thicker side for me today. Just a beautiful color. My next again is the Arteza Pearl line and this is the Pearl Gold Green. And I will show you that color too. Just a really light, light pretty green here. My next one is, it's called J Diction uh, mica powder. This is a company that approached me to try their mica powders. And the first one is called Coffee. And let me show you that color. Really deep, rich. And this is just the mica powder. No regular paint added to it. My next one, again, is another J Diction mica powder. This is called Amber. Let me show you that color. Really pretty, a lot of gold in that color. My next one again is the J. Dix Diction Mica Powder called Tangerine. And I might as well show you that color too. And my last paint is again the Pearl Line of Arteza Pearl Red Copper. And this one I am excited about. I do like copper and I've been using a lot of reds lately. So I'll show you that color. So that rounds out all my colors. Now, when I mix them, I used the mix today, seven parts mix. And let me show you the mix, which you can buy from Krista Rasmussen. And I will put her link in the description. Seven parts of the mix to one part paint. Now for the mica powders, you want to get it to be a liquid. You don't want to add the mix directly with the mica powders. So what I did is I put just a dab of Josonia gloss varnish in the bottom and then um, added a scoop of my mica powder, made it a liquid, and then added the mix to that. And it did turn out really nice. So the paints were seven part mix to one part paint. And then again, the mica powders were mixed with Josonia to make it liquid and then seven parts of the mix with that. No, um, nothing else was added today. I did add, excuse me, I did add a little bit of water to, to thin them down. They were quite thick. So again, I'm gonna do a waterfall pour. Now I don't have a waterfall cup that I know some uh, artists have made and are selling. So I made my own waterfall cup and you can do this at, at, at home too if you don't have it. I just took three different size cups and I stapled it in the back here. So I'm going to fill each one of these cups up and I'm going to put my base coat down and then I'll bring you back and we'll start painting. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I have my base coat down. Here I'm showing you my cup that I did layer. And I apologize for um, that not being clear. I'm glad it covered up. Here I am just pouring the paint. And I want to explain what colors I put in each cup. That smallest cup on the top, I put Mica Powders Tangerine and amber. In the middle cup, I put the Arteza Red Copper and the J. Dixon Mica Powder Coffee. And in that bottom cup, 
I put my blues and my greens, the Amsterdam greenish blue, the Arteza pearl green blue, and the Arteza gold green. The only thing I was disappointed in was I didn't get it a m very much of that uh, green on the far side there, as you can see. It just must have been the way that I was um, holding my cup when I was letting the paint uh, run down the canvas. Here I'm just giving it a quick torch. Overall, I'm pretty happy with uh, how this looks. And here I am putting on some flow extender paint just to help my paint uh, move as I start the tipping process. And I do take it pretty slow when I tip because there were some areas that I thought were very pretty and I wanted to keep and not run off the canvas. And the color that really did um, impress me was the, uh, let's see that, Arteza Red Copper. I thought that was just a beautiful, beautiful color. And the tangerine too showed up very nice. So overall, I have to say that um, the J. Dixon mica powders worked really well and they did show up and they did play really well with the other paints. And there is that coffee color in there you can see. Just slowly running the paints off the edges here, off the corner. And I did try and bring um, that tangerine color more towards the middle after I tipped it each time. I was trying to be mindful that you could um, see most of the tipping process here. It's a little harder to do when you have those oblong um, canvases. And you can see how the mix allows that transparency in between layers there. That's really, really the quality that I like with using the mix. And I will put um, in the description um, where you can uh, purchase the mix. I will be trying out these J. Dixon um, mica powders again. There you can really see that red copper, how beautiful it is along the edge there. And I really did want to keep that and also um, stretch it out a little bit. Just still continuing to tip until I get the composition that I really wanted. And down in that uh, lower right corner, that blue is so pretty, just uh, showing the different layers there. Here I'm just trying to tip off that corner there. I didn't, I didn't like how that corner was looking. I'm trying to get that darker blue down and over that corner. The paint was starting to move very slow at this, this point. Again, just stretching out some of these colors here. Cleaning off the bottom as I go. and just giving it a quick torch before I bring you down for the close-up.
Okay, everybody, here we are for our close-up, and I'm trying to show you the whole painting. Again, a 10 by 20 inch waterfall pour. I am just blown away by the results of this painting. Using the mix and seeing this transparency, we'll go over it. This is the upper left-hand corner. I did get a few cells there. Just going down the left-hand side, the colors are just beautiful. I love that red gold from Arteza. It's all in here. Just gorgeous. There's that brown color, the mica, mica powder. So very pretty. Here you can see the transparency in the layers. That's what I'm talking about with using the mix. See where everything just, that's a really pretty area right there. Take you across the top a little bit here. Another nice area in here. And those, those fingers are like just reaching. You can just imagine them reaching on that waterfall pour. And this is the lower right hand corner. Again, the mica powder, some of the tangerine came through there. Nice area here. And this is the upper right hand corner. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Make sure you share it. Ring the bell, choose all, so you know the next time that I do post a new video. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so to help my channel grow. Thank you for watching, everybody. Until next time, take care. Bye for now.